Hello friends, welcome to the 15th session for the series Test Automation Framework for Web Applications built using Cypress and JavaScript. In the last session, we created the base page that uh, had all the utilities like that had the, all the common operations like click, mouse over, double click or typing some data like filling some data inside the text boxes. In this session, we'll see some of the utilities which are provided by the Cypress like uh, how can we retry our failed test cases, how can we record the videos for our test execution. Okay, so let's get started. So let me jump into the VS code. So I told you like this is this file is basically is the configuration file which we can use. So Cypress already has given some of the functionalities like uh, how can we execute our test cases or sorry, how can we actually retry our failed test cases. Okay, so the only thing which we have to add it here as as there is one parameter called retries. Okay and you can get the value. So basically what are we trying to do here is we are setting a we are setting the number of number of what retries for fail tests. Okay now intentionally uh, let me fail this test case which we have already. So instead of swag labs let me add something. Okay now let me try to execute this test case maybe in the test runner first Okay, and then we'll see in that the different browsers. Close others, package.json. Let me open the Cypress. So ideally what should happen now when we have uh, provided this information inside the uh, configuration file, cypress.config, okay, and we have set it up this value retries as one, okay. So what should happen? If any of our test case is getting failed, so it should be executed for one more time. Okay, Cypress should automatically retry that failed test case and let's see if that works fine or not. Okay, so now this is the test case. Uh, just run 401. Okay, let me do one thing. This sometimes actually makes the issues. Okay. Let me retry it. No. Okay. Let me just do one thing, just a second. Let me skip this test case basically. Okay. And let's enable this test case. So sometimes what happens, this application, the swag labs makes issue and it does not respond actually. Okay. Now in this test case, maybe uh, I am actually providing this title as wrong. Okay. Let's try to execute. You see? We're expecting this Google to have this particular string, but it's not working fine. So what Cypress has actually done, it has tried to execute the test case for second time. You see? Yes, this is the attempt number one. This is the attempt number two. Now, for example, if you want to execute the failed test case, to retry the test case for two times, not for one. Okay, you make the value as two, go to the test runner. See, it is trying to assert the page title Google failed. So, this is the attempt number two now. It failed again, and this is the attempt number three now. Okay, so this is how. How easy it is actually to provide this information. We don't need to uh, do the implementation part from scratch. You just come here inside the configuration file and you just provide the parameters with values and that all that all things will be done. Okay. Also, for example, currently what's happening, it is actually executing inside this uh, with this dimensions, like with this height and width, right? You can change this as well. So maybe let's change the viewport. So viewport height, maybe 760 and viewport width maybe 1100 okay so what i am doing here setting the default viewport dimensions oh viewport it is okay let me add the comma here it should work fine so let's close it let me go to the Cypress again, close it, close this, 
go to the package.json let's open this ips once again go to the end-to-end -end testing this time i want to execute an electron and just click on the login now you see what is the dimension now 1100 into 760 okay so this was the one this was the uh, dimensions which we provided in the configuration file okay so this is how how easy it is to manage all these things okay now there's one more thing which we have to see is let me just check yeah viewport we have done retries we have seen yeah video right so currently if you go inside the reports let me re-execute this uh, maybe in any of the browser like it's json let me execute it in the chrome browser and let's open the report review in finder yeah the execution is started now mm -hmm. okay google google it failed now it is going for the attempt number two again it failed okay now if you check the reports open with microsoft edge you see this is the one so this code failed why because the actual one is google and we were expecting this string okay so let me try to add the video here the configuration what i have to do i only have to mark video as true oh sorry and i want this video to be compressed so that it does not take much space okay now let's retry again on the chrome browser started is navigating to the web application and trying to assert the page title it will definitely fail because we have provided the wrong string as the expected title it's failed yes okay now you see in the console we are able to see something called video and also we are able to see something called compressing to 32 crf right finish compressing within five seconds okay now if you go to the finder if you check the reports basically and open with it any browser you should be able to see this reports as well you see screenshot is there and you see the uh, video is there as well if you click on the icon here into the bottom left corner you'll be able to see the execution the same view which we were able to with, see with the help of cypress so this is the same view picture in picture mode if you click here you see wow good okay so this is how actually we can make the use of utilities basically okay we can actually uh, we only need to uh, provide the information inside this configuration file like viewport height width retries and video okay and this is how it is easy to work with the cypress so this was the video this was retries videos we have covered yeah so I think we have covered a lot for this session and in the next session we will execute our test cases in the CI environment when that is something which we are going to do with us uh, GitHub actions. Okay, so that's all for this session. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.